Yo guys, me Patrick LeVar back again with another daily render here and we're doing the post-processing inside of Photoshop. I hope you guys checked out the video before this where I actually broke down the scene in Blender. If you have not, you can take a look at this video and I'll show you that how I basically created this whole scene inside of Blender and using some free downloads from Kitbash, which was the first time I've done that, which I'm like really happy for. So let's get straight into it. So this is the image right here. Let me go ahead and pop this up to full screen. This right here in the middle is the image that I ended up downloading from uh, Kitbash. It was like a free download kit and it had a couple of buildings in there. And I think I ended up using like one and these down here or some of them and some of them are here. And um, what I did was this whole tutorial was uh, motivated by uh, this, this YouTuber named Max. I'll put his, his handle up here. And uh, he showed us a quick and easy way how to, to make massive scenes, uh, city scenes, and it like super easy on your computer. So again, I talk about that in the breakdown video. So take a look at that. But let's get straight into the post-processing. I'm super happy with this anamorphic look that I got out of uh, out of uh, Blender there. I'm going to go ahead and drag this, make a copy. You can always make a copy. I'm going to actually go ahead and click right click on this. I'm going to make it a smart layer, convert to smart object. That means so when I add filters on them, I can always go back and adjust the filters versus if you don't do that, you don't get to adjust the filters. This is kind of like, boom, it's there, right? And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to do this blur layer again here. I'm going to go uh, blur, lens blur. Oh, I can't do the lens blur on a smart object. Okay, that's good to know. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to undo that. The heck with it. <laughs> I want to use the lens blur. I like the lens blur. Filter. Let's go to blur. Lens blur, there it is. Okay, and I already got my settings from the previous one, which it kind of kept it. So I think it was at 10 on the radius. Just very subtle, right? 10 on the radius. There we go. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna quick the click mask button down here. Jump into my brush control. I mean B. Gonna go ahead again and just paint in the center here. I want the center to be kind of my main focal, right? Just kind of something like that. And on the edges here, I'm gonna leave the edges a little bit blurred especially with an anamorphic lens, you would truly have some blurring going on on the sides there. And it's just really making the middle just pop, right? Okay, so we got that going. Let's go ahead and just jump into camera raw now, just in case, make a copy, I'll mute this copy, jump in here to filters. Let's go to camera raw. This is where all the magic happens, really just gonna clean this image up and really start to colorize it and give it the look that we want. And I got this golden hour look already, right? So I don't want to deviate too far from that. Uh, let's go ahead and play with the colors. Ah, that's actually interesting too. That's actually interesting too. I kind of like that clean look a little bit. I might go just compensate a little bit. Let's go a little bit to the blue. Play with the greens. I'm going to actually shift towards the green just a little bit. A little bit of a matrix feel, right? A little bit of matrix feel in the city. Okay, good. I'm exposure. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit, make it pop. And then just crunch those uh, the contrast down just a tad bit. Highlights. I'm going to blow up my highlights because it would be totally blowing out if the sun was really there. And the shadow. I'm going to give hard contrast between highlights and shadow. Kind of bring that down a little bit. And then crush the blacks just ever so slightly. Okay, uh, texture, let's crank that up all the way, go all the way down. So totally different, two different looks, right? I'm gonna go just easy on the texture. I'm gonna go maybe like four or five, just a little bit crunch there. Clarity, crank it all the way up, see what it's doing, crank it all the way down. I actually kind of like that little bit of dreamy look. I think I might just, I'm actually probably gonna leave it a little bit in about, Actually, I'm just going to leave it in the middle. <laughs> when in doubt, just put it back to zero. Dehaze. Well, obviously, I don't want to use dehaze because I added haze. <laughs> so I'm going to put that at zero also. Vibrance. Crank it up just a little bit, like about seven, eight. And saturation. I'm going to push a little hard. I'm going to push a little bit hard than I normally would on saturation. Like right about there. Now it's getting too putrid color. I don't like that color. Now let's shift over here on my color again yeah let's kind of add some pink in there a little bit and i'm kind of happy with that now what i'm going to do is jump into my curves go down here to the bottom give that little s curve happening just a little bit we don't need to go too much and then up a little bit there liking that 
and then detail. I'm going to go here into sharpening. I'm going to push sharpening a little bit hard. I'm going to push sharpening a little bit hard, like around 100, guys. And just add a skosh, just a little bit of noise reduction and color noise reduction. Just a little bit because I had a lot of noise reduction already coming out of Blender. Let me go back really quickly here and see about the warmth again. Let's go back if we add a little bit of more warmth to it, that golden hour look. All right. You know what? I'm going to leave it where it was at the blue, right about here. I'm going to add the golden hour look with my uh, Dehancer plugin. 